Good afternoon and hello world. I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Um, I'd also like to uh, say a big shout out there to all the fathers and to my, including my own. And I'd like to uh, pay a very special tribute to uh, my late grandfathers and my late step grandfather. May they rest in peace. And I'd like to wish everybody a very happy summer. And anyway. What I like to do with my blogs most of the time is talk about what it's like to live on the autism spectrum. Other times I will uh, cover topics that I am passionate about and um, I also like now to give tips to individuals on the spectrum and anybody who's in the autism community and finally uh, give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. And in this blog I'm going to cover topics that I am passionate about because it's uh, the summertime and it means that Dragon Con 2015 is just a couple months away and one of my favorite things to do uh, before and uh, during and after the Dragon Con show is I like to do a series of blogs and throw them on YouTube and uh, what I would like to do is uh, call this blog up Gamers Rule at Dragon Con and no it's not what you're thinking I'm here to give uh, you guys tips about what you can or cannot do at Dragon Con and I'm going to give you guys a story, and I suppose this could be a good blog for individuals in the autism community because uh, sometimes there are people that don't know uh, boundaries, and sometimes I don't know uh, when it's appropriate and not appropriate to do something, even though uh, I have learned. So anyway, uh, last year it was uh, the Sunday before uh, the last day at Dragon Con, and I was laying out by the pool because I was at the Hilton, I was laying out at the pool by the Hilton because I was overloaded from all the crowds and I wanted to take a little break and it was in the early evening hours and I happened to run into a group of nice guys and one of them was wearing a cape and I asked him if he was involved with the gaming and he said yeah and that they were playing a game called Savage Worlds and that they were just taking a little break and I asked him a little bit about it and he said the game was called The Little Lamb Lost and this, the concept of the story was if you found, if you caught the baby lamb and you, uh, and you slew it in your town, uh, the eternal winter would go away and you'd have a spring. And I'm a fan of uh, C.S. Lewis's stories and uh, possibly the Tolkien. And it also reminded me of Passover a little bit. So I asked if I could watch the game. And although they weren't excited about it, they did express to me uh, with, yeah, whatever, so I went to watch the game and uh, like uh, the players, uh, the game master also was not too happy that I was there. And for one thing, I didn't realize that I ended up taking his seat and he was very sarcastic and just very callous and his attitude was, well, as long as you know that. And uh, they started the game and I uh, started watching and I started asking them lots and lots of questions and it was during this game that it was irritating them and they were also unhappy that I was there watching because they had paid to play and I did not and I mean it wasn't like a big expensive game it was three dollars but they just didn't want to be distracted so uh, the uh, game ma the game master and these players ganged up against me last year and they told me that uh, they didn't really want me there because I was a watcher and uh, they yeah, they got together behind my back and, uh, told, and asked him to uh, throw me out of the room. So he did such and I of course I was in tears about it but I didn't really understand why so I ended up having to uh, contact uh, the head of the gaming and to, uh, you know the head of uh, of the gaming department at Dragon Con last year and they uh, told me what had happened, you know, in email after they found out. So, anyway, I wanted to give you guys some tips about that. So, if you're going to go and watch a game like that, I found out that a lot of uh, the the non-campaigning uh, role-playing tabletop games have uh, demo versions that you can go and listen to, and then you can sit and talk to that game master for um, hours on end. And if you are interested. They have tables downstairs in the basement of the Hilton where they have all kinds of wonderful board games and some very mild LARPs where you can sign up and you can pay maybe 3 to $4 to play a game and uh, 
you can also get involved in some of the board games downstairs, which you don't have to pay to play. You just have to show your ID, and then you just take a board game and you play with some friends or get a group of people together. But anyway, um, what I've discovered is that um, you never want to um, bud into a um, a, a tabletop uh, non-campaign role-playing game. You just you want to respect those people and you want to leave them alone. If you are interested in the games, again, go to the demos. Um, and that's some. I mean, I'm not a big a tabletop role-playing game player by heart. I know other people who are, but I'm willing to give it a try. I mean, not as a hobby all the time. Maybe like a once in a while type of a deal, and and possibly yeah, blog about it afterwards. Like, uh, I don't want to play Dungeons and Dragons. I know that they have a yeah, role. They have other role-playing games that I'm interested in. They have Doctor Who for beginners, for example, and. I think I'm going to take advantage of uh, playing a game or two of Doctor Who or uh, possibly uh, maybe playing uh, another, uh, maybe uh, playing another Savage Worlds type of a game later on. But anyway, um, my suggestion to you again, just uh, leave those other gamers alone, find a, demo t find a demo table and sign up if you're interested, but if you're not, just move on. Uh, and if... Uh, campaigning is not your thing or role-playing games are not your thing go try werewolf that which is one of my favorite very mild larps so anyway if you have any questions or comments below i'd be happy to hear from you until next time i'm maya sundermeyer and don't forget to subscribe because there will be all kinds of cool videos from dragon con until next time i'm maya